I just want to end by sharing a story from my heart, which is that the first time that I ever spoke to any policymaker, it was really difficult to share my story. I had made the choice to set aside my astronaut dreams, and I remember crying when I got home because it was so hard. Um, I was just like, I just need somebody to tell me that they love me. And the next morning, um, as a pathological optimist, I went back to the United States Senate to try to fight for my rights. Um, on my Uber ride there, I met a driver who was kind of stoic, didn't really talk to me. But at the end of the ride, he asked me why I was going, and I shared with him that I was fighting for these rights. And he turned to me, and he started crying, just tears welling from his eyes, and he said, my daughter was also raped. And what you shared with me, she also went through too. When he stopped the car, he said, can I shake your hand? Thank you so much for fighting for her. Has anyone told you that they love you today? I love you. And I'll never forget that, Dad. And so as I'm here, as we're concluding this event, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for reminding me of that story and for being here because our story is the story of progress. And I just want to say again, thank you so, so much. Happy International Women and Girls in Science Day.